What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this bad boy right here. The Ram McNally Dash Cam 500. I have not opened it yet. I mean, I was going to do it on my table and had it set up to where the camera was uh, pointing straight down at it, but I haven't gotten around to do that. So yeah, we're going to do it this way. Hopefully my next unboxing review of whatever item it is, I'll do it on my table. But today we're going to unbox it this way. The dash cam, Ram McNally dash cam 500. So it comes in a really nice box. Here's all the features it has. I'll just read it to you guys. A large 3 inch LCD screen. Um, it's got built in Wi Fi, full HD video. Uh, it's got the companion app. In other words, you've got the app on your iPhone or your Google phone, Android. Uh, GPS to record location and track on a map. Automatic event recording even when parked. G4 sensor for accident detection and video protection. Quick, quick release suction cup mount. 151 degree wide angle image recording comes with a 16 gigabyte solid state drive I mean 16 gigabyte SD card and uh, use the flashback button to save and preserve videos that were recorded minutes before pressing the button button that's a cool feature so yeah let's unbox it all right here it is how do you like my little makeshift table this piece of wood resting on my steering wheel and then resting on my fat belly works great so anyway let's unbox it I already cut the, the tab things off so I can do this video easily all right take that off first thing I see when I open it up is this uh, says please do not return this product to the store call this number blah 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 yeah Ram McNally handles their own products and so when you open it up you see the device right away so that'll be the first thing we pull out oh wow this is nice put that over big nice shiny button on top it's got the micro USB connector here I'm assuming that you can connect that straight to your uh, PC or MacBook it's got a compartment right here for the SD card got a little sticker thing on here we're going to go ahead and pull that off I'd keep it on, but it's got wording on it. You see, so we're going to take that off. It's a nice big screen compared to the other one. I have the dash cam 300. Looks nice. Um, it feels metal feels solid doesn't feel cheap at all it's got a different style of uh, connector to it than the dash cam 300 so we'll put that right there see what else we got in the box nice thick foam I want to save that all right it's got the power cable which plugs in the cigarette lighter, which I don't use these. But if I wanted to, I have one. Got the suction mount. Let's take that out. Uh, 
this is uh if you guys never had a ram mcnally this is the actual gps antenna and then the power uh, the power cable plugs directly in it i don't like that design um because in my opinion it puts pressure on uh, the connector you know depending on how you route your connector like I have mine I'm gonna mount this right there on the top of my windshield but this is also used to tighten see how it rotates it tightened it tightens the suction cup and then you got the, the connector so mine's gonna be mounted like this so guess what you do is you um, squeeze these little tabs together see how they're, they're on the end these little buttons right here both sides you squeeze them together put it in and let go and it's solid I like that all right what else we got oh, we got the SD card and instructions put this all back together get this out of the way and put that aside I want the SD card that's what I want the SD card so see see it does come with a 16 gigabyte SD card so to put it in of course I don't have any fingernails so I'm going to have to, little, have to use a little tiny screwdriver pop that door off just like that we're going to put the SD card in sure which way it goes in but we'll figure it out uh, got it in the first try then we'll close the door just like that and the only thing we do next is mount it to our windshield Power it on and, and set it up and be good to go. All right, let's get it mounted. All right, got it all mounted, got it all set up, um, got it connected to my phone, connected to my iPad for bigger screen it's the app is very user friendly very simple works great so far um, the next portion of this video would be the review portion of it um, but I want to use it for a week I want to see how the video turns out the features and all that uh, and then I will share that with you guys and then uh, give you my overall opinion on the device so far first impressions good I've always been a Rand McNally fan I don't know why but I just have so next part of this video stay tuned for the review what's going on guys welcome back to my channel to the vlog in the previous video I, I sh did an unboxing on the Rand McNally dash cam 500 mounted to my windshield been running it for 
for a few days. I'm liking it. Really liking it. Yeah. I'll show you how to connect it to the app because you can you can you can save the video on your dash cam and then you can transfer it to the app and then once it's in the app you can download it to your camera roll like to your photos to save it you know for whatever reason you know somebody hit your truck or what not you hit the the button on the dash cam it's the flashback button and it, and it saves it so we are going to go over how to connect it to the app and show you some of the features. So we want to make sure that we're connected to the connected to the dash cam via the Wi-Fi, which will say Ram McNally 1438. And you have to download the Ram McNally dash cam. And then you want to hit, uh, let's see if we're connected, hit live feed. And there we are, we're connected. Hey, there's a prime truck in front of me. So, let's go to the settings here. Hit the back button go to the settings up at the top here it says Wi-Fi we are connected you can choose to record sound or not I don't because it just makes the file that much bigger video quality 1080 or 720 I got 1080 uh, G sensor yeah, we're gonna put it in the middle you can adjust your time which it's already set to the correct time it's the 6 of May and it's 832 we're going to set that for auto time zone get daylight savings time turned on screen time off that's just uh, that's a setting that will uh, turn the screen off so you don't it'll save the life of the display photo capture loop recording so I'm, I'm I got it set to always record when I'm in the truck, when I'm not in the truck, it is always recording. And what it does is, once that SD card fills up, it'll start erasing the oldest stuff first. Uh, parking video. In other words, if somebody hits me while I'm parked, it'll record it. You see your memory, create, memory card storage. I got a 16 gigabyte, which roughly almost 15 gigabytes of uses. And then it's got your installation guide. If you hit that installation guide, uh, the manual will come up in a PDF form. Um, here, here, check for updates. So you update it from your phone, and it automatically up then you update it to your, your camera and then down here at the bottom it says reset setting, settings that's where you reset it back to factory default so that's that now you click on video all your videos so far that's been recorded now, unless you mark them as a flashback video, these are going to eventually get erased as it keeps recording and, and needs the space. So you can go there and choose which one. Um, if you do a flashback video, which is... It marks it so it doesn't get delete then it'll be right here under the flashback which I already have one because I wanted to try the feature out so if you look next to the name where it says mp4 you see a little lock symbol that means it won't get erased at all so that's saved 
And of course, if you take any photos, it you know if you click on the photo and um, they're being here. So it. So that's basically it. If you have it running on the app, like we're connecting back to the live feed, if you hit the, uh, the little camera icon to the right of the pause button, it'll take, a, it'll take a picture. Or if you want to turn the sound on, you hit that audio microphone symbol. If you want to start a flashback video, what the flashback means is that it, it will save um, like if somebody was hit my truck and I hit this flashback video it will save I think it's up to two minutes before and a couple minutes after or, or something like that anyway I'll get the before and after it'll get the, it'll save that whole video so um, so you can use it for insurance purposes or like in my case I have a, uh, a Dropbox folder Say, uh, shared with my fleet manager so if anything happens out here whether I get a critical event or whatever accident somebody hits my truck or whatever for insurance purposes I take that video I drop it in my in the Dropbox folder that's shared between me and my fleet manager so that way he has it he can give it to safety you know whoever you know whatnot so um, also, if you turn the camera or turn your phone to uh, landscape, it'll put it in landscape mode so you can have a bigger screen. So, anyway, that's 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 it. That's it on the app. Very simple, very easy to use. So. Next, I'm going to show you guys some sample videos, the quality. It's pretty good quality. Colors are good and all that. So, so far, I'm very impressed with this dash cam. Alright, what's going on YouTube? Now for the part where I give my uh, honest opinion review on this dash cam, uh, the Rand McNally dash cam 500. Now, my honest opinion about it, it's great, it's awesome. I love it. I've had it for about a week, week and a half now. Um, it takes awesome video. I mean, the colors are just vibrant, uh, detailed. Um, the build quality is excellent. It does not feel cheap. Sorry, start a cigarette. Um, 
the integration from the camera to the iPhone app or iPad. I got it installed on the iPad, I got it installed on the iPhone. It went seamlessly. Um, one of the main features why I like it is because I don't, you still have the capability of connecting it from um, the camera, the dash cam to your computer via a USB cable. But with an app, you don't have to do that. You can download, you can transfer your videos that you save for an incident or whatever case may be. Somebody hits your truck. Uh, you witness an accident. You got it on video. You want to give it to the police. Uh, you know, whatever the situation may be. If you have it saved on your, your dash cam, you can wireless, wirelessly transfer it from the cam to your phone or iPad or tablet or whatever. And then from there, you can save it to your phone's camera roll and then if you have an iPhone like I do then you can airdrop it from your phone or iPad to your MacBook which is what I did it's all done wirelessly and seamlessly um, the app layout is very very user friendly you saw the demo I showed you everything the features that it had on the app and that's it it's very user friendly it's very much um, easy to read common sense um, and it's the build quality is excellent it does not feel cheap um, it took me three tries to find the right location for the suction cup onto my windshield but hey that's that's true for anything. That's not a fault of Rand McNally there, Mr. United States Trucker. You know who you are. And um, <laughs> you guys need to go go watch his YouTube, United States Trucker. He did a review on this camera and he was just ranting how it, the, the Rand McNally sucks, his product sucks. And, and all that because he couldn't get his to stick on his windshield and he kept putting it in the same spot he would clean the windshield out clean the suction cup off and stick it in the same damn spot and it would fall down every time he would stick it in the same damn spot it would fall down like dude these windshields are curved you can't just stick any the suction cups not gonna work on every spot on your windshield it's curved. You gotta find the most, the flattest spot on your windshield, which is usually in the center or on the left or right corners. If you try to put it in the middle, in front of you, and everything, it's not gonna fit. At least in my experience, that's what happens. But anyway, I stuck it up there after the third try. I found the sweet spot. It's been up there ever since. It has not fought, fallen down. Um, just overall, I give it two thumbs up two thumbs up highly recommend it um, now at the time of this video uh, the price on uh, the Ram McNally store which is where I bought mine at is $179.99 I got mine on sale I just happened to catch it at the right time when I was when I went to go buy mine I went to the store and they were on sale for $159.99 will I buy it would, or would I have bought it if it was $179.99? Yes, because that was the price I was expecting to pay. I didn't know it was on sale. So, anyway, I'm going to put a link in the description to where I got it, to the store. You may find it cheaper someplace else. If so, good. Um, but by the way, if you go to the Ram McNally website, uh, sorry, I got to itch. Um, a thing popped up for, for new customers, you get $10 off. So, that might pop up for you. You get $10 off your first order of $50 or more. So if you order this, you get $10 off. Um, and in my experience, Ram McNally ships really quick. I had, after I ordered it, I got it within two days. Really quick shipping. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope this info was uh, helped you out. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't, 
subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Uh, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. God bless you.